Hey guys, my name's Shireen. Today I'm going to give you guys some tips to help you guys with your depression during winter months. I just want to first give a disclaimer that I'm not a professional. I am just a person who has experienced major depression and I've come up with some tips that's helped me and I just want to let you guys know to see if you that it would help you and also create a discussion have you guys leave comments on what helps you as well and yeah so let's get started so the first one that I just kind of wanted to get out of the way is that I do take medication um, I'm not encouraging you guys to take medication um, but I'd be sitting here lying if I said that my medication does not help me with my depression. Um, now, everybody is different, so medication may not help for others, but it helps for me. And I encourage you guys to see a professional and to do research on your own and to listen to your body. and. I've listened to mind and I've seen professionals and I just think for me and myself and I, medication 100% helps me with my emotions. So yeah. Another thing that helps is I take supplements. I take vitamin D and I've been taking this for the past two months, two or three months. and it is it helps me tremendously i have such clarity in my mindset because of vitamin d it, i don't know why it's taken me so long i've been recommended vitam taking vitamin d for years and i just i've never taken it i always thought oh i'm taking medication why do i need to take a supplement to help me with the same thing but with my medication Plus this, it's helped me a lot. All right, so with tips that's helped me that I've learned myself is knowing when you're going to slip. Now, if you have depression, you know what I mean. You have, you know, you start seeing little symptoms creep back into your life and you start feeling your depression come back. To me, some of my symptoms is I start lacking interest in things that used to excite me. And also my mindset with my life starts to dim a little bit. Like I start to think of myself, oh, you can't do this. You're going to be a failure look at you trying to do that. You won't ever be good enough for that. I start feeling not good enough. And then, you know, I have little voices, like voices in my head saying I'm not good enough. And it just starts to creep in. And if I allow it, it starts to consume me. I start listening to more depressive songs and I start saying no to people to go out and I don't know it just it seems like my life is a little dimmer and it's weird because when I start to creep back into a depressive episode it starts out slowly like the symptoms start to creep in and then all of a sudden there's like this switch and just it's like completely consuming. And if you guys can relate to that, let me know. Um, so one thing that's helped me is when, at that beginning, when it starts to creep slowly, that's when I try to stop that depressive episode. I do things that um, make me happy, that I know that makes me happy. I'll go out with friends. I make sure that I'm like, hey, can I, I really need to go out and just have a good time. Can we have dinner? Can we have lunch? Can we just go out for a drink? I just, I contact my friends and I'm like, I need some time with them. Uh, another thing that I do when I 
to help me stop my depressive episodes when I feel like it's creeping back in is I start exercising more and I know that's so cliche people are like oh exercise helps you but it honestly I'll go to the gym I won't even do anything hardcore I'll just I'll go on the treadmill for a little bit but I don't know the thought of making my body healthier makes me feel good about myself and that's really what it's all about for me because when I start slipping back into my depression it's all about not feeling good enough and when I go to the gym I'm making I'm making a choice to better myself and it makes me feel good that I'm doing that another thing that I like to do and it's just me personally I like to go to record stores it feels good just strolling through the records and just kind of like getting out of my mind a little bit and just kind of getting lost in the store and that's one thing so find something that helps you I'm just kind of mentioning a few things that's helped me but once you start feeling yourself slip back in with those few little symptoms that you'd be feeling find something quick do something that makes you feel happy. Feel, do something that makes you feel alive. Um, whether that's reading a book, spending time with family, um, taking a walk. Do that. The last tip that I have for you guys, and I think it's really an, an unpopular tip, but it's helped me, is... If you're in that episode, if you're having a bad day, allow yourself to have that bad day. It's okay to have that bad day. Because I know there's been many times when I've had a bad day and I keep hearing people say, you know, fake it till you make it. Um, don't let it consume you. Don't like, come on, let's be, let's do something, let's be happy. And some days I just don't want to fake happy. I don't want to put a smile on my face. And I allow myself those days. I allow myself to listen to sad music, um, watch a sad movie, be in my room, lay down. I allow myself, but I always tell myself this is the one day. Tomorrow, I am going to get up, I'm going to take a shower, brush my teeth, and I'm going to start my day, and I'm going to force myself to do stuff to change my mindset, whether that's taking a walk, or like I mentioned before with me, um, maybe inviting my friends out for lunch, um, going to the gym I'm going to force myself but I'm gonna allow myself that one day to just be and honestly say it's okay not to be okay and those days I really treasure a lot because it just to me faking it till I make it hurts me more than allowing myself to be sad so that's my, those are my advice to you. I hope that it helps you guys. Again, I want this to be a discussion. So if you guys have any other advice that I didn't mention, um, I'll comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.